Have you ever wondered about what causes heat? This is matter in motion. Scientists long ago thought that they solved the answer to this question. They thought that heat was a substance and that it traveled from one object to the next. Now while they were right about how it traveled, they were wrong about it being a substance. You already know that theories change when new discoveries happen that challenge old ideas. So the old heat theory went out the door when Count Rumford challenged it. What did he do? He conducted tests using the good old scientific method. From his test, he concluded that motion of particles produced the heat. What? That's right. Now you also know that scientists like to conduct tests to increase the reliability of the results. That's exactly what James P. Joule did. From his study of heat, he confirmed Rumford's findings by proving that as the motion of particles increased, so did the temperature of heat. Matter requires energy to move. The more energy matter has, the more it moves about. The more matter moves about, the hotter it gets. So heat must be a form of energy. Now that was a pretty cool discovery. Let's take it just a step further. There are three states of matter on Earth, solids, liquids, and gases. Examples of solids include ice cubes, automobiles, carrots, and chairs. What do they all have in common? Their molecules vibrate in place and each object maintains its shape and volume. Otherwise, they'd look like the glob. Yikes! So on the subject of globs, let's move on to liquids like water. Liquids don't keep their own shape, but their volume stays pretty defined. What do I mean by defined? It just means that whether eight ounces of water are in a glass of water or in a baby's bottle, the shape will change, but not the volume. So a liquid shape can change as often as your weekend plans. Pretty cool, huh? Gas is the third state of matter. No, I'm not talking about the gasoline. The gas I'm speaking of is the one where the particles randomly move about and collide from time to time. Because that gases move about the way they do, they really have no shape or volume. Gases like to take up every space available. So where does the heat come into play, you ask? Let's line up the different states of matter first. If you recall, the more motion an object has, the more heat contained in the particles of an object. Solids would contain low heat, which is why you see the particles only vibrate in place. Liquid particles move around more when more heat is added to an object. Gases start to get a little crazy and rambunctious because they have a bit more heat to work with. But wait, question marks at high heat? No, there is another state of matter. What? Yep, it's called plasma. Plasma particles have so much heat that the particles become ionized, in other words, charged. Plasmas, like gases, have no fixed shape or volume. However, particles at this state are both electrified and magnetized. You can find these wonderful particles in lightning, stars, including the sun, and at your local convenience store. So there you have it. Now you know what causes heat and the role moving particles play. And that's matter in motion.